Hello and welcome to the Telescope. Every week we bring you a fresh insight from the biggest car market in the world. Today we're on a static preview event of the upcoming Leap Motor B10. You're looking at the cheapest electric SUV that is compliant with Euro NCAP safety standards. We're projecting this car to be around 15,000 euros for the BV version. We will talk about this car's potential European price later. We have very limited information. We don't even know how big this car is. I roughly measured it. It's roughly a 4.5 meter long, maybe 1.85 meter wide compact SUV. From the outside, we can see this is a more evolved design language. It's still a leap motor, but it's more, slightly more aggressive than its bigger brother, the C10. Also from the front intake, we can see this car doesn't have the active aero shutters. Fully understandable considering the price point. Coming around to the top of the car, you can see this car is fitted with a LiDAR and quite a few cameras. We, it will have serious ADAS functions, but maybe not on the major selling spec. Coming around to the side, the most striking feature of this car is how long this rear door is on a 4.5 meter long SUV. This suggests it will have a very um, generous second row. I've taken a slight peek inside. It is typically generous from a Chinese manufacturer. If this car has a cramped second row, it won't sell in China, full stop. Now, a very generous second row means it will take some space away from the boot. I've also taken a slight peek inside. We are not allowed to shoot inside the car, but I'm, I'm allowed a sneak peek. The boot is typical compact SUV. It's not uh, that big, but it is bigger than your usual European standard hatchback, your Volkswagen Golf, um, Ford Focus, or the ID3. It is bigger than those hatchbacks, but not much more than that. It's okay, if not spectacular. Now, I hope this prototype has just only forgotten to put a rear wiper onto this car because the Leap Motor C10 and the C11 all have those expensive Range Rover style retractable rear wiper for such a cheap car. That is a major highlight for me anyway. I value, if you've watched my previous videos, I care a lot about rear visibility. Now this car doesn't have a rear wiper and judging by the position of this brake light, it can only put one here. And I do hope if this car wants to do well in Europe, it has to have a rear wiper for such a upright SUV it's not a coupe SUV. Another suggestion for this car's European model, this prototype is currently on completely blacked out glass, but the final production car, I've seen more than one Chinese cars heading for overseas markets use completely clear rear glass. I suggest for Europe, this car needs to have a very heavily tinted glass and a parcel shelf to keep this car more private because China is a very safe country with extremely low crime rate, not the same case in Europe. And, and that's just a fact. This Leap Motor B10's Chinese model could totally get away with a clear rear glass. But if this car heads to Europe with a totally clear rear glass, it won't survive the first week. So very limited information, but the existence of this car and just this name, B10 already tells you a lot because I was recently in the market to buy this car's bigger brother, the C10. I know the market final transaction price after discount for the C10 is around 125,000 renminbi. And this is a B10. This is on a smaller class of platforms. So for this car to make sense in the current Chinese car market, I think this car's BEV version will come very close, if not under the 100,000 renminbi threshold and all Leap Motor SUVs saloons will have a hybrid range extender option. That version will be about 90,000 renminbi. Now, if this is the first telescope video you have ever watched, you might be already screaming at the top of your lawn thinking this car will wipe out the entire market because it's so competitive, so cheap. But unbelievably, in China, this car actually has quite a lot of competition. The most immediate rival of this car is the BYD Auto 3, or the Yuan Plus, as it's known in China. Having taken a look on the inside, I can confidently say this has a more modern design language on the interior. And this car has another 
not quite rivals, but it is on the same price point and it is an SUV. That is the Wuling Starlight S. It's much bigger than this car. So if you want space at this price point, you might not go for this, but that Wuling Starlight S is not compliant with your ANCAP safety standards. This is, that means you pay slightly more in the design process and also a slightly higher production cost. About this car's potential European pricing, some simple calculation tells me this car should be around 30,000 euros. Now I know 15,000 euros in China and 30,000 euros in Europe is a huge difference, but the vast majority of that difference goes to Brussels and not Leap Motor. So before you shouting at a common section saying this is misleading information, the Chinese pricing will never be available in Europe, well, maybe you should sort out your own government first. That is all from the telescope today. If you enjoyed this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.